I'm oh, just no. a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. <laughs> Someone's at the door, Rollo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call uh. Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move. Time for action. Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking dames! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! Hey YouTubers, it's me, Big Dukes, and this is Dudeflix, and we are heading back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's right, this is part 30. We have kind of neglected Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the channel lately because Resident Evil Village was a distraction, but I don't want to leave a Valhalla swept under the carpet, I want to get back into it. It's been like a month or something and I'm kind of at the same place as YouTuber Superfight Gaming and he's overtaken me on the Assassin's Creed trip. So I need to get back into building those alliances and then going and rescuing Sigurd. I think Sigurd's just lost his patience waiting around for me forever. And I'm sure you have too. So YouTubers, we're going down to Essex. We have some I've been warned about him. I heard he's a little bit of a crazy elder man called Burston. So YouTubers, let's go to Essex. Let's play on the PS5. Okay, YouTubers, we are in Essex and we are, oh God, it's been a while since I picked up Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are starting a new story arc. So we are making alliances so we can find Sigurd. And you're probably noticing if you've been following my Assassin's Creed series. I've got Ivor, a new get up. Look at the godlike boat get up. I've got a brand new shield. And I've got like a thunder axe. I've uh, spent some monies in order to look cool. Get a look at that shield, look at that shield. Beautiful. Eivor is looking top of a class. So we need to find him, speak with a guy called First. Looks like this is the place. Jesus. Is this a longhouse? It seems or? Elderman Beerston has made this ruin his longhouse. Yep, it's the longhouse. And it's a fancy ruin. Very godly like. Looks like I'm dressed for the occasion. Let's go speak to Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his Lord. Ah a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the elderman of this shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Damn, His household is as poorly run as his land. Mm. is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your God, they're really like bitching about their elderly, aren't they? My sweater right is a worthy woman, you coxcum. She's an excellent cook. Okay, let's go upstairs and meet his wife. See what kind of character she is. Giselle. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. 
here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. Where is he? Then I will speak to you. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband He's stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. Hmm, looks like he's um, an elderman that neglects his responsibilities. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Oh dear. Looks like we need to investigate. If anyone's noticed, I've got um, a white wolf now. They were attacked the, by a beast. Uh, Something strong enough to kill a horse. Investigate with him. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. When you this one was duties. savaged by a large animal. There's something over here. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. Wow, that's big. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. What's going on here? There we go. You want to fight? Let's fight. Ooh. Tough ones, you. Oh. You are no match for a ball to break. Uh. One down. Pearson! the end. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage Claude, poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I come at your call. I am Norse and no mercenary. You seem ill-matched to your wife. You speak ill of your wife. Has your love faded or were you ill-matched? As family we are as close as Cain and Abel. She is a willful woman, and I am a bad husband. You know me, it seems. Only by reputation. A deliciously teasing sentiment. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. 
I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion wow. when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Fiston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Biston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose oh my they God. are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Send them to back to Alfred. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight! Yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Wine and song is the answer to any problem. You should contribute to the festivities. He should put his own ham fist in his purse and contribute coin to the festival. Yes! You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Keep your men here, in the fields. Fields will mean nothing if your land is taken. Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my <laughs> hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. I think he needs to spend some time with his um, 
closest men. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Eivor. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Bjirsten. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Bjirsten. Are you not worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Your love has gone sour. Mm. What do you need of me, Burston? Your love has gone sour. I noticed your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate. It's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Your god prevents it. Your king prevents it. I will do what you ask of me. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Francia would need a swift ship with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my brain thanes at bay. And the woman found? Mm. A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Okay, let's talk to Estrid about getting this kidnapping I came sorted. first to help you. Your needs seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You have lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You miss Francia. Have you always missed Francia? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the Great Lama's Kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one. And her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. So this is about love stories, not this battles. This captain, and... who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. 
full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that the light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. Yeah, I won't want to live in Norway with we all are the here. cold weather. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I will bring him round by force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lamas Festival. Enter the brothel. Okay. <laughs> Through the window? Oh, Please, no. I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Time for action. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking dames! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! We found you, Captain! Right, let's get him. No one to help you now. Your glory is about the best object to under our lock and key. Whoa! Stop! Never seen that before. Seen this one though. Oh! Sixty hours into the game, and I'm that just never gets old. Do as well. Woo! What a fire is! Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. <laughs> okay, we are with Rolo at his camp. What is this? Why are my people bound? It's worse than I feared. So what many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. That's the innocent not have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. Lork, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? 
Where were you when the Saxons came? <laughs> it Hunting rabbits, like wasn't that. I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting and all hell broke loose. Where were you when the Sax... Did you see anything? Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. Where were you and the sex? What are you to Rollo? How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. You must tire of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. What? I have what I need for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And mm. these two... Gerhild, is it? I, Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. Where were you? You were not here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Where were you? T Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rolo I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Where were you? L Log accused you of treachery. He saw you with the Saxon. Log? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. Where were you? That is all for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn sheep. Mm. Have you made your decision? Here's what I learned of Gerhild. Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lorch did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lorch saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Here's what I learned of... Here's what I learned of Lork. Lork said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Here's what I learned of Gerhild. On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. No need to hunt when the camp is Double full of fresh kills. Men. This looks well, like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Gerhild, can we speak again? Where were you? I... You're lying. I found rags and rags of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rollo's not the only one who dallies with locals. Tell me about Rollo. No more questions. That is all for now. She sounds jealous of him, that's all. Lork. Where were you when the I found the You're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby. Enough to feed the camp for days. Told you. I was hunting. Stick to that story and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the trees, so I hid. Not fool enough to face him on my own. Did you see anything? No more quest. I have what I need for now. Here's what I learned. I'm re Have you come to a firm conclusion? Yes, I, I have. have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. The traitor is Gerhild. Gerhild betrayed you. Nothing but the truth. No! That's not true! 
Rolo, I beg you. Yes, she did. She was jealous of someone else. A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive. And I will need your help after they are free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Always knew there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words. My heart is torn. Go. Find something useful to do. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. Let's you and I go take a look, shall we? I am sorry that your people suffer, Rolo. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. I don't know what it is, but just the name Rolo it just reminds me of the chocolate. <laughs> I've not had a Rolo in years. So it's just going to match up to the gate, yeah? Right, let's find and rescue the friends. I should not be seen in this area. There we go, let's have to quietly. Got one over here. Oh, I think you've been seen. Oh. Get the bell man, get the bell man. Oh yeah. Don't even think about running that bell. Rollers like plump ends. Oh yeah. Not today, man. Oh, oh, two in one. Come on. Come on. Let's freeze, man. He's ringing the bell. Don't let him ring the bell. Come on, Eva. Oh, yeah. Out! Damn you! It's only a bit of fire in all. No one can ring the bell now. Oh, yeah. Kill him. Who was that? The bell's not gonna ring, the bell's not gonna ring, the bell's not gonna ring, the bell's not gonna ring. Yeah, shit, the bell. Will you now? Huh. What an embarrassing death. Let's free the men. Come boys. Let's get the ravens a piece of free. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, raven feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. Your loyalty will be rewarded. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that. And your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. 
I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this, whatever your passion for Estrid. Like we had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lama's Festival. <laughs> A second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. Build pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. I need to find Alfredo, but here. where is she? Find and speak to Alfredo. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. Day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? What is your name? I'm Elleridge, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister at the behest of another. Behest? I've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood. Far to the west. Prison camp. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> this looks like a prison camp. Let's go in through the water shaft here and get our feeder. <laughs> Hmm. Looks like the guard's quarters. Let's put Fat Boy. Right, let's take out as many as we can. Right, let's make a scene. Come on, boys. That's right, the company's it. Anything interesting in here? No. Oh, you want to rumble? You want to rumble? Missed. Whoa. I can slow down time now. Oh, you look fuck fuck with your stick. Oh, yes. Is our feeder in here? Yes, she is. That was the easy find. This must be Beerston's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. Where's the key? Find and rescue Alvida. Let's go kill some guards. Boom, boom. Oh. Fire. Oh, he's dead. Sick. Finish him off. No. 
old fashioned way then. Give me a fuck that key. key. Should unlock Alvida's cage. Pathetic. More of them. <laughs> Finally, they got caught in the fire. Where did he just come from? Let's go get our feeder. Roll, stop, drop, and roll. Feeder. Come on. What? Just carry what is this? You're not one of them. Whoa. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. Just go. I cannot go. walk. Whoa. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. <laughs> Alright, let's get out through this way. The way we came in. <laughs> Get on there, I'll feed her. My bones Jesus. ache. The lake house is not far from the prison camp, is it? Me. Here you are, sister. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy, but without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. You raised him alone? Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teeth. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Birsten. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Birsten, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the elder man... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. Oh. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. He's here. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Birsten. Give her time, Birsten. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elevich, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Birsten. 
I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. God, what was he thinking? His wife's like... I should leave them to their reunion. Go. The next Whatever piece of this drama is the kidnapping Colchester. The YouTubers were just going to stop right there. This was a very different story act for the Assassin's Creed Valhalla series lately. It looks like we've now met Burston. He's a really crap elder man. He's a really crap husband. But rather than war and politics and kings, it's nice to see a little spin up on it, a little change with a love story. So it looks as though we've made everyone happy. So Thurston's got a shit marriage with Estrid. It looks like they're not happy. Estrid wants out. She wants to go back from where she once came overseas. Thurston wants to be reacquainted with his old woman. So we've got a bit of a love drama story going on here. So we've reunited Thurston with his old love. Meet. We've, and then we've met the Beast of Rolo, what a character. Guy jumps up and jump, jumps down on the, like, the, the soldiers, he's such a beast. He's like bloody pat. Yeah. The is the next time we need to create a scene in front of these guards, kidnap Estrid, now we've got Rolo on side, and then everyone's happy, and we get our alliance. Ravenslop's happy, Essex is happy, YouTubers, if you enjoyed this crazy story arc, go down there and smash that like button. Let's destroy that YouTube algorithm together. And if you're new here, scroll on over to the other side, hit that subscribe button if you want future videos from this channel. And if you want notifications as to when those go live, just go over there and tap that notification bell. YouTubers, if you see what you like here and you want to get your own copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's been out six months now and i'm sure you can get it on sale in different places but there's an affiliate link down in the description below if you go ahead and click that you'd be helping this channel out massively and if you want to just get in touch and you want to do something that's free you can contact me on my socials right here anything assassin's creed valhalla youtubers i'm the host of a duplex um, and